box again. Uh -huh. And I don't know what happens to this every day, but this box is empty. So I don't know. Maybe we can work our magic on it once again and come up with some best tips for these fine pieces. Okay, I would like to just try this again on a total side. This could be dangerous. We don't know what's in this box. <laughs> Very good. Ah, look at this. A piece of rope. The kind you find in any bedroom in America. Um, what? <laughs> It's very, very strong. And as a bench cap, what you do with this rope, you can put rouge on it, and you can front, you know, you can polish little areas with it. But wasn't there something else? Let me look. Ah. Here, scissors. Anybody needs a haircut? Okay, let's just say we take this rope and we find the center. Okay, and when we have the center like this, we cut it. Right in half. Now, if I were to tighten this nut, I could literally repair this rope again where it's functional, but this is ugly. Now, imagine you are repairing a chain and this is your solder seam. Wouldn't that look bad? So what you're going to do is you just get rid of some of it and you just cut away some of the excess solder. Now it looks good, but it's still, you can still tell where it was repaired, you know? And we, of course, do work much, much, much better than that. So we're going to cut it again, at which time this entire, we don't need any of this knot anymore. And then when we do this, we're back where we started to begin with. You see, it is really not that difficult to repair a chain and make it invisible. So we think. Diamond paste, 14,000, 8,000, whatever you want, and 
put it in there. That, that bamboo has a quality of holding that diamond paste much firm very, very securely, and it makes an even better polish. And man's got variable, uh, you know, bricks you can use it. You can got to burn it first. Once you burn the bamboo, you can't break it. It's very, very hard. You see, and this is what makes this conference so great, that people, experts share information. Doesn't it? Absolutely.